Hey everyone, it's Father Mark again. I wish you a very holy and happy beginning of February, the second month of the year already. Uh, and it's been a while since we've seen each other. Um, someone asked me what is our next uh, video series and I thought about it for a couple of days and weeks and I came up with the book of Proverbs. You said, why the book of Proverbs? And, and many of you know I was a sixth grade school teacher before I entered the seminary and was ordained a priest. Um, and the book of Proverbs is part of the Old Testament, part of the wisdom literature. And sixth grade Catholic school education is the religion year is based around the Old Testament. And one of my favorite um, couple weeks of teaching that was going into the wisdom literature, literature and especially the book of Proverbs, and have the students pull out different Proverbs, different saying, wisdom sayings and, and instructions and trying to see how they could re- place the to put them into their lives and how that those old wisdom sayings can come alive in our modern age so to speak right and so that's what we're going to be doing over the next uh couple weeks as we prepare for lent and begin our lenten journey and i'll talk about that at the end of the video and so what is the book of proverbs once again as i said it's it's wisdom literature it's full of proverbs and instructions on how to live the good life and living the good life for 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 the writers of wisdom was faith in God, obedience to God and family, and gathering of wisdom and knowledge of God um, through the world and through theology, so to speak. Because as the Second Vatican Council reminds us that we are called to discover God in, in, in both work and play, in, in, in prayer and in worship, in all those different aspects of our lives. And so the wisdom literature in many ways helps to point us out as it talks about both the world and about God, and how they integrate in the growing wisdom and knowledge, obedience of love, as Jesus exemplifies, and that faith that we are called to share. And, and, and in that, the honesty and the truthfulness that a person, a man or a woman is called to be, uh, that our word, our actions are to speak of truthfulness and honesty, as Jesus says, that we are to be lights to the world, not uh, candles hidden under a bushel basket, but lights to God's world. And so, as wisdom literature reminds us, uh, chapter 1, verse 7, fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and discipline, right? To, to, have that, to have that in awe of God. And then it continues on, hear my son, your father's instructions, and reject not your mother's teaching, right? Once again, that call to obedience, that call to learning from those are elders and sharing that wisdom with one another. So that's what we're going to be doing. My hope is to uh, produce a wisdom minute each day to take one proverb, one teaching, and kind of pull it out and kind of in one minute give a good example, give a good good uh, understanding of what that saying might mean for us, and then hopefully uh, help you guys, help everyone uh, grow in Wisdom and knowledge of God, faith and obedience of God, honesty and truthfulness in our lives. Lent. Uh, Lent is a little over a month away. Uh, we have all of uh, all of the month of February, and then we go into uh, March and Lent. Ash Wednesday comes up on us really quickly. And so we are actually going to go back to an old favorite, Rediscover Jesus. A couple years ago, we handed these books out at the parish. And so you, for a St. Lucy parishioner, kind of start digging through your uh, bookshelf, your closet, and see if you can find your copy of Rediscover Jesus. Uh, because we're going to be, once again, doing our 40-day journey uh, with that book. We will be ordering a few extra copies for those who are new to the parish. But for everyone else, we hope that you have your marked-up copy. Because much like anything else, Going back and rediscovering Jesus isn't a one-time event, but it is a continual journey. And so uh, Father Steve, myself, and Father Joseph will continue during our Lenten time to speak about rediscovering Jesus in our lives. Anyways, uh, God bless you all, and I look forward to talking to you very soon in our Proverb Minutes. God bless.